Hello, my YouTube world. This is Johnny Moe coming to you today. The verdict is out. We are going to review this. I'm going to give you my thoughts and my opinions about this Boss TGS 1100. Hello, my YouTube world. Johnny Moe. As you can see, I went through pretty much all that salt. I got about a pallet and three quarters left, about a pallet and a half left. So I went through about six, six and a half pallets through this. Specifically through this Boss TGS 1100. So I want to go through some things that I like about this. Some things I don't like. With, <clears throat> As with all of my reviews, 100% honestly my opinion. They're not paying me. I'm not being sponsored by this company. <clears throat> so I'm giving you my honest thoughts about this. Now remember, for over a decade I had a Snow EX 575 to compare this to. Now, let's just, right off the rip, I just used it this morning, as you can see. We've been getting a lot of snow in the month of February. Uh, it's been a really good month for us snow-wise. So, this is what it looks like after use. You can see that that little platform there holds a lot of salt. A lot of salt caked on this, so it's definitely, I mean, look. It's, it's salt is everywhere on this piece of, uh, this spreader here. So, I mean, you really have to give it a good bath. Uh, so, between the two spreaders, this one's a little bit needs cleaned a little bit more than the than the other one does. The 575 just didn't have all this salt laying everywhere. It did get salt on it. You know, have no doubt about it. It used to get messy, but this is one complaint I would definitely have is it is a little bit messier. Salt is everywhere here, and I I just left it this way. I would normally go spray it off, but it is only 15 degrees, so it's hard to spray it off. Um, also. Um, I wanted you to see it. I wanted you to see, look at the wiring, where the wiring's at, how bad that, I mean, that's a lot of salt, salt covering right there. See that? So that's going to be an issue. That means salt is getting in there. It's corroding stuff. Um, and then you water it, water leaks into there. So you're going to have to definitely check your connections a lot more. Um, as far as uh, the spreader and how it connects, this is absolutely the best spreader I've ever used connecting i mean seriously all i have to do is kick that little handle out pull those and pull that little lever right there pull that little lever right there push it down that'll unlock it and what happens is i push it up i push this up to that handle i just push it up and then when it comes back it'll fall right down on to dolly type wheels and it, it disconnects and connects so easily so I love about it. It holds 800 pounds. Uh, I can actually put a little bit more than 800 pounds. It, it definitely holds 800 pounds. No doubt about it. Uh, it's the first spreader. Uh, I will say that over the, the Snowy X575 said it, it held around 450 to 475 pounds. Uh, I, I found that it only held about 350 to 375 pounds. This actually holds 800. It, it, you can do it. It's 800 pounds. Uh, so... First spreader, I mean, they say it holds 800. It absolutely does. And that's what I love about it. 800 pounds can get me through a whole round. For all my commercial properties, I can go out and put 800 pounds. I do have to load up a few more bags, uh, five, six, seven more bags to do sidewalks and stuff. But other than that, I'm giving you a live shot of what it looks like when it's done being used. Um, I have it open, wide open. I want, I want the spray to come wide out. Uh, so we're talking about the spread pattern. Um, oh, I hate to say this, guys. It's it's not even close to the Snow EX. For this to spread really good, you have to spread it wide open to get that really wide pattern. Or the Snow EX, uh, I could spread it on uh, 37 to 43 is what I spread on that. And it would cover a parking lot really nicely. Uh, this does a good job at blast. And, and that's part of the problem is that as soon as you turn it on, for uh, I don't know if it's 5 seconds, 7 seconds, 8 seconds. I don't know. But it's on blast, and then it goes down to the number. So what happens is you got a wide pattern, and then it comes down to a low pattern. Wide, low. Every time you turn it on, shut it off. Now, I've heard different people say you got to turn it all the way down, then turn it up. It's just a pain in the butt. Uh, I'm going to give it a – I'm going to give it a it's, – it's, it's just not a good spread pattern unless it's on blast. And, and then all of a sudden, you have to get used to it being on blast, and then you end up going through so much salt. I've had a lot of trouble – uh, getting my lots down to the right poundage 
like I was able to get down with my uh, Snow EX. Snow EX is definitely a, bed, a better spreader. Just hands down, no two ends about it. It spreads better. Uh, I'm more accurate with it. Um, there's almost seven pallets that went through this, and I still haven't got it totally figured out. I'm getting really a lot closer, but after seven pallets, I should have it down, and I don't. So right now, I'm spreading it on about five, uh, six. I spread it on six, and today I was able to get it pretty much down uh, to, to a pretty good science. But on my Snow EX, I had it down to a perfect science. So having said that, like, yeah, you just want to complain. You should have just bought a Snow EX. Well, I needed to have a bigger capacity so I didn't have to load so much because I was loading so much with the Snow EX. Of course, they have a, a 1075 that could have went on here. But the problem was is that the 1075 uh, connected into the stake pockets and they had trouble with the Ford aluminum beds. Uh, peeling like cans because they're aluminum and the weight of that 1075 was 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 uh, cracking these and they were splitting them open and just peeling them back so i had to go a different route so i went this route and and getting it on getting off is no issue but here's some things that and, and this is why i think this channel is very beneficial because what i'm about to show you you won't see anywhere else you won't see this and it and I, i'm only saying that because most people, most people really don't get in depth with their reviews. They they don't show you the good, the bad. They just show you the great. Oh, I love this. It goes on and on. Like if I just showed you how this goes on and off, you would love it. You, and, and I didn't show you. I didn't tell you about the the spread pattern being you know in in bad shape. And I didn't show you how dirty it gets. Um, but also, so loading it on and off, getting it on and off is the best out there but here's something that people don't talk to you about so look how high this is right now this comes up to i'm about this is up to about my i'd say my chin so it's hard to load it see i gotta pick the bag up and pick it up over and dump it on and dump it in there so i have to cut the bag and then dump it in well this gets old 16 bags raising it above your head so what i had to do is i got a i got a little um little crate and I just step on the crate and I load the bags so it comes with this little nifty little bag cutter thing which is absolutely useless because it sits so high so for me to do it I'd have to lift this bag all the way up in the air like this and drop it and try to get it and and do this and it, this is above my head right now so I'm trying to break the bag the only other way to do it would be to double load which would mean load 16 bags in the bed and then take the and then climb up in the bed and then do it and, and put it on. I mean, you're, you're, you're out at three, two, three, four o'clock in the morning. I'm not going to double load. So this is basically useless on this model unless that you could get something, get up there, you climb a ladder and do it. So it's useless. So I just cut the bags. I step on the little crate and it gives me just enough height to get up over there. And this is something you have to think about. How are you going to load the spreader? Yes, it has a nice capacity, but how are you going to load it? So so when I step up, well, now my shoulder's above this. I, I'm, I, I can see down in there now. See, I can see down in there. Whereas when I step off, I can't see now. I have to look. So that's a, that's a good point. How are you going to load these bigger spreaders? So that, that's something for you to th absolutely think of. The Boss TGS 1100 comes off great. Its spread is okay. It spreads really good on blast. But if you're going to spread on blast, you better make sure that you're getting through the parking lot very quickly because this can empty a spreader pretty quick. And that's happened to me. I, I, I dumped so much salt on my first three lots, I didn't have enough to do my next three lots. Oh, that means I wasted salt. So I had to really figure this out. I'm getting better, but it's just not totally where I need it to be. Having said that, though, because I can get this on and off by myself, a solo guy, a solo guy who has to load bags in into a hopper and I only have to do it one time. So this will hold 16 bags. That's phenomenal. Those are the two things I really, really like about it is that it's easy to get on and off and it can hold so much. I mean, this is a big spreader as compared to some of the other ones on the market. The 1075, you know, it says it can hold so much, but 
um, if it's like the 575, I was over almost 100 pounds off. I could get seven bags of salt in my 575, which is about 350 uh, as opposed to – so if you double the size to a 1075, so we're looking at 700, I can put 100 pounds more in here and – it holds it really well. Uh, I don't have to. The only thing it's attached is it's attached to the hitch, a special hitch system. Uh, it's not attached to the truck. Uh, it is attached to the bumper um, with those pads right there. So I, I really don't have too many issues with this spreader as as a as of right now. My initial review though is it does not spread wide enough for me. And this is a rubber. This is a rubber spinner this is a rubber spinner and i don't know if that has something to do with it it might have something to do with it i have no idea but uh whereas the the 575 had a metal one on and it also had a a plastic one so it, it definitely spread a lot further like it, it just kicked it out further uh, at maximum this is 30 feet at maximum the snow ex was 40 feet and at the lower spin rates uh it def the the Snow EX definitely threw it out better, which gave you better coverage on a lot, which meant you had to go over the lot less. And it, it's just, a, I thought it was a, just a better overall uh, spread rate. Now this here, like I said, on, on blast, it spreads great, but it just, you go through a lot of salt and look how dirty. I mean, it's just, it's pancaked everywhere. It just, it's just not, I don't think that that part of it was thought thought out real well so i'm gonna get this probably cleaned up tomorrow and then i'll show you a picture of it once it's all cleaned up again but think about this stuff when you're you're solo you know how are you gonna load it how i mean i'm six foot two and i have to pick these bags up above my head and dump them in it, or if you wanted to use that cutter system you know how are you gonna do that it's just it's hard it, it's just stacked so high up so you know having said that these these are the things i definitely dislike about this is that it's hard to load and the spread spread pattern is just not up to my up to my pattern. So you might ask yourself, Johnny, would you buy this again? Ah, <sighs> man, I don't know. I don't know. The one thing I can definitely say is that the biggest plus it has for it is that it comes on and off the truck really really easy. And it, it's it's better than anything that I've seen out there. I just wish that the spread rate was just a little bit better. I thought if it would just throw a little bit wider at the lower rates, uh, I think it would. Because when it's on six, it barely covers the width of the width of the uh, of of the truck when it's on six. Now when it's on you know when it's on blast, it it blasts it out there. But it it's just the spread rate on the lower rates just isn't good enough for me. But guys, that's my time. Uh, it's my total re review. Uh, I gave you the good, the bad, the ugly, and for me. It's got me through another season. Um, hopefully, I'll get to use this salt. Two more, about a pallet and a half of salt left. Uh, it's been a great February so far. It, it is definitely, I have no mechanical issues with it as, as of right now. And the only problems I have is is the loading. And this this thing here is just worthless. This this thing here is just worthless. It's just not even, and, I, and honestly, if, if, a, if a clump can get through that, that big, it, it'll or rock you're done it, it'll clog it up this is a really big hole you know for this spreader so but since my salt's on the inside I generally don't have too many uh issues if i if i'm unloading the salt and i feel like there's a hard part of the bag i will take that out I'll, i will take that hard part out because once i'm loading it from the truck into the garage is where i really start to feel you know if the bags are frozen or something i i take that i heat that bag up and i make sure there's no clumps in it uh, the only time I have real problems with clumps is when I was using bulk salt. Bulk salt can get a little bit clumpy and, and, and you can miss something because you definitely don't want to load that with up 800 pounds and then have to unload it because, again, you're going to have to get a step ladder to get above it and then scoop it all out, you know. So those are things you think of. How are you going to load? If you get a spreader like that, how are you loading that? You know, if you're solo, how are you going to do that? Two, three o'clock in the morning, 15 degrees, 10 degrees, you know, you have to find a setup. Hopefully, this video will give you some ideas. I used a crate, and I just I just cut the bags in here. I'll, I'll pull, pull it up here, cut the bags, take it over, dump it in. That's how I do it, guys. It takes me about 15 minutes to load 16 bags 
of salt in there. So within 15 minutes, I can be out the door. That's my time, guys. Any questions, leave them in the comments.